1 to 24 represent what you see in your viewport at the moment. It's the segment you want to be working on. Okay. That's part of it. All right? Um, is that in, in frames? Yes. Okay. Exactly. It's in frames. Okay? <coughs> now, after that, you have the animation curves. Okay? I like that one. This is basically just the curve, that the animation you created. It picks up the first key, it picks up the last key, and it actually, you know, do its job, create the clip out of it, all right? That one is pretty cool. That's the one I use most of the time, okay? And you have start and end, that if you want to do the whole animation, basically, which would be 1 to 48, all right, you guys? So, after that, you have include sub-characters in clip, which is fine, okay? We don't have any right now, but we could have some. And create time warp curve. No, we don't want to do that. Uh, never, actually. Even if we need to do that, we want to do it manually later on. Okay? And during the semester, we'll deal with that. Okay? Because it has to do with blending in reality. All right? Um, now, hierarchy. Yes, we do want to include hierarchy if we have some. We don't have a, a huge one. We don't have any right now. But, you know, we'll keep it like that for now. That should be good. Then we'll just create the clip. Boom. As you can see, the clip now has been created right there. Yeah, you can see it. <coughs> has been created right there at the top. You have it, when you select it, it turns yellow. Okay? There is four sets of numbers fully. The sets, okay? There's six numbers in reality in the yellow. Huh? There's four sets only of numbers. Now the top sets and then the bottom sets. Okay? They are totally different. Uh, the top set represents the length of your animation of your clip. All right, one to twelve frames. Okay, from first one, frame one to frame twelve. Okay, the bottom numbers represent where it's located. Right now, the same because it's located at one. But if I grab it, which is one of the thing that is awesome with clips, you just grab it and move it. Now you can see it's still one to twelve, you guys, but it's becoming seven to 18, where it's located, all right? So, now, you have the name of your clip in the middle that can be changed by double-clicking on the name, and you can change it. And you have also something really cool, the 100 right here, okay? Uh, it, the 11 right there gives you a number of frames. That tells you where it starts, where it ends, and that's, there's 11 frames, basically, all right? The blue just tells you where you are on the, on the timeline, basically. That's the timeline itself, okay? So, the 100% give you the 100% of your animation. You can make it s faster by lowering down the amount of the percent or make it slower by making it bigger in the percent itself, you guys. So what happens is that now? Those are non-linear, okay? What you can do is that. You can go and say copy that clip and paste. Actually, let me make another clip first. Okay, now we clean it up. See, there's nothing more in the timeline because we did our clip, basically, so they erase what we did. You understand that? Now, let's make the same thing. One, we'll do a uh, butt forward. All right? I was just going to say, so uh, every time you do an animation, make a clip, it just goes back to the regular thing, so you can just do more animation with the same original object. Exactly. Exactly. And it erase what you did and keep it in the clip only. Those clips can be saved. They are saved, and we open it in any scenes. All right, you guys, and it will bring it back. Okay, it's very powerful. You can make uh, for video game. It's very powerful because you can make database of motions, basically. You know what I'm saying? And have them forever. You put them on skeletons. You know what I'm saying? Not even attached to mesh. You know, and then you attach any mesh you want on it. You know, it's just very easy. All right. So yes. Um, no, it's only Maya. Uh, Max has something similar, but it doesn't work the same way. I'll look into it for you if you're interested. I've never used it in Max, so I don't want to really talk about it. Because in Max, I've never used it. But I'm pretty sure it has, has something fairly similar. Uh, Emmett, no? Uh, I, don't, I don't know for sure, but I'm positive it's color. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure that it, it has something fairly similar. Really yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. I'll look into it for you, Spencer, because I know you're a Max man. Um, shame on you. <laughs> I'm kidding. Wrong <laughs> life. But uh, so let's make a little key. So we're going to do the same thing, you guys. I'm going to do um, 
It's in the X. So I'll key my X right now. Yeah. I, I would have to agree with you. See, it's still there. It's not not showing, you know what I'm saying, as a tick, as a key, basically. Now, right here, I'm going to uh, bring him forward right there. And I'm going to key that, key selected, um, you know. And obviously, now, we have our stuff that goes like that. It goes forward, and then it goes up, all right, and back down, all right. Uh, because I have moved my stuff to a six. All right? Now, we're going to make a new clip out of it. Awesome. So I'm going to go to um, Create Animation Clip. I come in, and I'm going to create Forward. All right? Put Clip. I'm not changing anything. I'm good. I create the clip. Boom. All right? Now, it's gone from the timeline, but it's still being used. So now I can do that, for example, and all right, that's all forward jump, basically. Okay? So very, very, very strong. Now, if I want now, let's do a little bit of copying. Uh, I'm going to come select my file, go to copy, edit, and I'm going to paste it. But I'm going to want to paste it right here. It's going to paste wherever I put my cursor. So I'm going to paste that. Make sure my option, I'm good. By character map, clip goes. Yeah, we're good. Current time right here. Okay? And I paste the clip right here. Okay? So now, if you look at my animation, let me go all the way to 24. So we're good, pretty much. Yeah, let me move it right there. And let's see what it does to us. Boom, boom. Ah, see? It does keep going. It's relative. Okay? Now, another thing, too, we could definitely copy that one. And then I'll place it right there. And sometimes it does that. Yeah, it's hard to uh, actually uh, control that. It does that by itself. Uh, but now, it's right here. Let's move it next. Yeah, yeah. Actually, what I can do, I can actually duplicate I can actually get twice up and down. You'll see, I'm going to try to do that. So the first bounce will be twice as high because it's additive also. So the first bounce is going to be as high and then it just decrease it basically. And you can make a clip of just the ball like squishing down and popping back up. Exactly, and interject that into it. You can, so there's no need to nudge, there's no need to do pretty much any, anything anymore. Control is like right. Premiere with your clip. Exactly. It's exactly Premiere with, your, with, with 3D. It just really really good it's just very different thought process for 3d artists and animator to work with so when i introduce it to people in my animation class they're like yeah that's cool but they don't go past that all right because it's like that would have helped with my whole animation well i showed it to you what, what happened that day I remember this. no we did that no we didn't do we did the, the plane taking off you know, yeah, I did, I did the, the plane. So, yeah, that, that does help very much so. I'm starting to like it very much so. It's just a, a different thought process. It's more a premiere type of thought process, more of an editing video type of thought process in reality. So, a couple of things. Let's, uh, let's look at those things just a second before we get deeper. Let me take them out and show you a couple of the options. Okay, one of the first things is that. Uh, you can actually check that out. Okay, instead of copying... Uh, Clip like I did, which is okay, but that's not the best way in reality. You can click on Shift and go right here at the beginning of that number at the bottom and move it. And it will actually loop it for you and duplicate it and show you every time where there's a new, a new loop. See, right there, it's a new loop. So now I got it twice. Right there. You know what I'm saying? So pretty cool. So let me take that one out just a second. And let me just copy that one. And have it paste now. You see, if you are not outside, it's not going to paste on top of another. That's when it goes under. Yeah. All right? OK. Now look at that. See how much higher it is? It's twice as high. Yeah, it's a stack. Exactly. It stacks the attribute in an 